Shut up! We're not, we're not saying anything. What? Uh, Joey cried last night. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> we were playing poker, oh. right? There was chocolate on the three. It looked like an eight, right? <laughs> oh, God, you should have seen him. Read him and weep. And then he did. <laughs> you guys have never played poker with us? Yeah, what is that? Like some kind of guy thing? Like some kind of sexist guy thing? Like it's poker, so only guys can play. No, women are welcome to play. Oh, okay, so then what is it? Some kind of, you know, like, like some kind of, you know, like, uh, what is it? <laughs> uh, there just don't happen to be any women in our game. Yeah, we just don't happen to know any women that know how to play poker. Oh, oh please, that is such a lame excuse. I mean, it's, it's a typical guy response. Excuse me, do any of you know how to play? No. no. <laughs> but you could teach us. No. no. You were lying. About what? About how good your cards were. <laughs> I was bluffing. Aha! Uh -huh. And what is bluffing? <laughs> is it not another word for lying? <laughs> okay, sorry to break up this party, but I've got resumes to fax before Ooh. we're tomorrow. Rach, Rach, we gotta settle. Settle what? <laughs> the Jamestown colony of Virginia. <laughs> You see, King George is giving us the land, so... <laughs> the game, Rachel, the game. You owe us money for the game. Oh, right. Uh, you know what, you guys? It's their first time. Why don't we just forget about the money? Huh? Hell no! We'll pay. Monica, I had another answer already. <laughs> and you know what? We want a rematch. Well, that's fine with me. Could use the money. <laughs> So basically, you get your yayas by taking money from all of your friends. Yeah. Yes, and I get my yayas from Ikea. <laughs> you have to put them together yourself, but they cost a little less. <laughs> Look, Rachel, this is poker. I play to win, all right? In order for me to win, other people have to lose. So if you're going to play poker with me, don't expect me to be a nice guy, okay? Because once those cards are dealt... Yeah? <laughs> I'm not a nice guy. Hey, Eddie. Stop! <laughs> what are you doing here? Nothing, Rumi. Really, just watching you sleep. Why? Makes me feel, um, peaceful. <clears throat> Please. I can't sleep now. Oh, you, you want me to sing? <laughs> yeah. Look, that's it. It's over. I want you out. I want you out of the apartment now. Oh, well, what, what are you talking about, man? Hannibal Lecter? <laughs> Better roommate than you. No. Oh, no. See, now I don't think you're being fair. I mean, one night you see me and you get scared. I mean, well, what about all the other nights when you don't see me, huh? <laughs> What about last night, when you went and got a drink of water and I was nice enough to hide behind the door? What's that about, huh? I didn't realize yeah. that. Yeah. Get out now! Okay. <laughs> you really want me out? Yes, please. Okay, then I want to hear you say it. I, I want to hear you say, you want me out. I want you out! No, no, no. I want to hear it from your lips. <laughs> Where did you hear it from before? Oh, all right, all right. But you know what, Pally, I understand. Consider me gone. You know what? I'll be out by the time you get home from work tomorrow. I heard that. <laughs> May I help you? <laughs> Why doesn't my key work and what's all my stuff doing downstairs? Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh. <laughs> Have we met? Hey, Teddy, you freak, your roommate. Well, I'm sorry, I, uh... I already have a roommate. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, I've, he's lived here for years. I don't... I don't know what you're talking about, man. No, no. Uh, no he, he moved out, and I moved in. Well, I, I think we'd remember something like that. <laughs> no, I would. 
No, that's a, that's a good point. Um, okay, well, huh, I guess I got the wrong apartment then. <laughs> I'm, I, look, I'm, you know, I'm sorry. I'm terribly sorry. Hey, no problem. See ya. <laughs> Where's my underwear? Whoa, 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 whoa. Come on, come on, what, you took his underwear? He took my essence. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Joey, why, why can't you just wear the underwear you're wearing now? Because I'm not wearing any underwear now. <laughs> okay, um, then why do you have to wear underwear tonight? It's a rented tux, okay? I'm not gonna go commando in another man's fatigues. <laughs> Well, then it looks like somebody's gonna have to give somebody back his cushions. Okay. You hide my clothes, I'm gonna do the exact opposite to you. Okay, buddy boy, here it is. You hide my clothes, I'm wearing everything you own. Oh, my God! That is so not the opposite of taking somebody's underwear. Look at me. I'm Chandler. Could I be wearing any more clothes? <laughs> Maybe if I wasn't going commando. <laughs> yeah. Whew. I'll tell you, it's hot with all this stuff on. I, uh, I better not do any, I don't know, lunges. <laughs> okay, okay. Enough, enough for the lunging. No, I'm... Now, the coin toss to see who goes first. Okay. Somebody call it this time. Yeah. All right, gentlemen, you're up first. Okay. Okay. You have 30 seconds. The lightning round begins. Stop it. Now. What was Monica's nickname when she was a field hockey goalie? Big fat goalie. Correct. <laughs> Rachel claims this is her favorite movie. Dangerous Liaisons. Correct. Her actual favorite movie is... Weekend at Bernie's. Correct. <laughs> All right, Monica categorizes her towels. How many categories are there? Everyday use. Fancy. Guest. Fancy guest. Two seconds. Uh, 11? 11. Unbelievable. 11 is correct. Yes! <laughs> profession was... Oh, Space Cowboy! Correct! <laughs> what is Chandler Bing's job? Oh. oh, gosh! This has something to do with numbers and processing. And he carries a briefcase. Ten You're... seconds. You need this or you lose the game. Oh. It's, um, it has something to do with transponding. Oh, 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 he's a trans trans monster! <laughs> application or I'm going to beat you to it. Oh. <laughs> well, I never thought I'd say this, but I'm going to go use ugly naked guy's bathroom. <laughs> oh, look, there's, there's Monica and Chandler. Hey! Hey, you guys! Hey! <laughs> to on that. Okay, bye. <laughs> oh my god, he wants me to come over and feel his bicep and more. Are you kidding? Oh, I cannot believe
believe he would do that to my... <laughs> Joey, do they know that we know? No. Joey? They know you know. Oh, I knew it! Oh, I cannot believe those two. They thought that they could mess with us. They're trying to mess with us. <laughs> they don't know that we know they know we know. And Joe, you can't say anything. Couldn't if I wanted to. Rach, you're killing us here. Will you serve the dessert already? There's drunken dancers are waiting. <laughs> Isn't it beautiful? Yeah, yeah. What is it? It's a trifle. It's got all of these layers. First, there's a layer of lady fingers, then a layer of jam, then custard, which I made from scratch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> then raspberries, more lady fingers, then beef sautéed with peas and onions, <laughs> more custard, and then bananas, and then I just put some whipped cream on top. <laughs> What was the one right before bananas? The beef? Yeah, that was weird to me, too. But then, you know, I, I thought, well, there's minced meat pie. I mean, that's an English dessert. These people just put very strange things in their food. You know? Oh, by the way, can I borrow some rum from your place? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay. And while I'm gone, don't you boys sneak a taste. Okay. <laughs> In a dessert bag. No, no, no. There is no way. Let's go. Oh, yeah. About telling mom and dad. I was thinking about maybe writing a letter. All right, you know what? That's it. You've had your chance. What? what? Mom, dad. Ross smoked pot in college. What? what? You are such a tattletale. <laughs> mom, dad. You remember that, that time you walked in my room and smelled marijuana? Yes. yes. <laughs> well, I told you it was Chandler who was smoking the pot, but it was me. I'm sorry. It was you? And, Dad, you know that mailman that you got fired? He didn't steal your Playboys. Ross did. <laughs> King Gloria didn't break the porch swing, Monica did. Ross hasn't worked at the museum for a year. Monica and Chandler are living together. Ross married Rachel in Vegas and got divorced again. I love Jacques Cousteau. I wasn't supposed to put beef in the trifle. It's a lot of information to get it. Okay, Rachel, you're up first. Situation number one. You're with Monica. The wedding is about to start when Monica gets cold feet. Go! I don't want to marry Chandler. Okay, um, it's, it's gonna be okay. Uh, one man the rest of my life? I don't know if I can do it. This means I'll never get to sleep with Joey. <laughs> Monica, getting cold feet is very common. You know, it's, it's just because of all the anticipation. And you just have to remember that you love Chandler. And also, I ran out on a wedding. You don't get to keep the gifts. Very good. Drawing on your own experience. I like that. <laughs> yes, very nice, Rachel. Thank you, judges. Oh, kiss ass. Oh. Okay, Phoebe. Yes, Your Honor. We're now in the ceremony. Monica is about to say, I do, when her drunk uncle starts yelling. What do you do? Go! When Monica was a little girl, I remember that... Oh! Oh! Very good! Oh. Yes, excellent, perfect score. Wait a minute, she just made a scene in the middle of the ceremony. Hey, you want a little taste of Phoebes? 
it is time for you to give your maid of honor speech. Oh. And I uh, became friends with Chandler when he was 25, although he seemed like a six-year-old. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, I've known them separately, and I've known them together. And, and to know them as a couple is to know that you are truly in the presence of love. So I would like to raise my glass to Monica and Chandler and the beautiful adventure they are about to embark upon together. I can think of no two people better prepared for the journey. Wow. Speech, <laughs> it really was. Oh, thanks. Okay, Phoebe, I guess you're next, although I really don't see the point. <laughs> I can't believe that Monica and Chandler are getting married. I remember talking about this day with Rachel while we were showering together, naked. <laughs> and she's back in the game. Please keep the chicken and the turkey and everything on the other side of the table. The smell is just... Oh, yeah. Typical. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? I said it was typical. Typical of you, Rachel Green. Queen Rachel does whatever she wants in the little Rachel land. <laughs> Seriously, who is this guy? Um, I'm, so, I'm sorry. Do you, do you have a problem with me? I don't know. Do I? Do I? I think you do. <laughs> Apparently you were um, a little mean to him in high school. A little mean. You made my life miserable. I'm, I'm, I had no idea. I'm sorry. I... Well, you should be. Screw it. Bring on the yams. <laughs> well, but you, you've worked so hard. And... Yams! Okay. <laughs> uh, Will, I'm, I just want to say that I'm real sorry for whatever I, I did to you in high school. Oh, it wasn't just me. We had a club. You had a club? That's right. The I Hate Rachel Green Club. Oh, my God. So what, you all just joined together to hate me? Who else was in this club? Me and Ross. <laughs> no need to point. She knows who Ross is. She was. No, no. So who else was in this club? Uh, actually, the, there was also that exchange student from Thailand, but uh, I don't think he, he knew what it was. So, Ross, we went out for two years, and you never told me you were in an I Hate Rachel club. You went out with her? We had a pact. <laughs> that was in high school. It's not like it was binding forever. Then why did it have the word eternity in it? Okay, Monica, did you know about this? I swear I didn't. Hey, is that why you guys used to go up to your bedroom and lock the door? Yeah. Hmm. A little relieved, I gotta say. Oh, we did a little more than that. No, 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 no. <laughs> what, what, what else did you do? We started a rumor. Not rumor. Oh, come on, Will. Just take off your shirt and tell us. <laughs> It's no big deal. Uh, we we <clears throat> said that the the rumor was that um, you had both male and female reproductive parts. <laughs> what? That's right. We said your parents flipped a coin, decided to raise you as a girl, but you still had a hint of a penis. <laughs> oh my God! You started that? What? You heard that? <laughs> school heard it. Everybody at my school heard it. You were the hermaphrodite cheerleader from Long Island? Oh, no! Oh, my God, this is all making so much sense to me now. This is why Adam Carter wouldn't go out with me. This is why Billy Tratt would just stay in this region. Actually, Billy Tratt is gay now, so, so that one's not really our fault. Monica, how come you never told me this? I thought it might be true. And I was afraid that you were going to cry and then show it to me. <laughs>
tickets are ours. Oh. <laughs> There's the man I married. All right, believe me, if you win the lottery, it's the last you're gonna hear from us. Yeah. Fine. Don't be my friends. I'll buy new friends. <laughs> yeah, and then I'll pay for their plastic surgery so they look just like you. Oh. All right, you know what? That's it. I want my share of the tickets. Yeah, I want my tickets, too. And I'm buying the Knicks. And Steffi Graf. <laughs> sure. Then I want mine, too. And if I win, I'm going to put it all into a very low-yield bond. No! <laughs> you guys, we got to keep all the tickets together. No, no, we should divide them up. And I should get extra because we use my car to buy them. Hey, hey, if anybody gets extra tickets, it should be me. This whole thing was my idea. Oh, yeah. Thanks for inventing the lottery. Okay. <laughs> That's it. Just give them to me and I'll split them up. Oh. Ah! Hey, hey. Ah! Closer, valuable things are getting squished. Now, what's more important, your friends or money? Friends. 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 <laughs> and Monica, what about your extra tickets? They're all in there. Even these five that I hid in my bra. Monica. Okay. Good. You guys were so scared. There was no way I was gonna dump this. <laughs> I think I broke your bowl. Go, go, go! After he sang, I love you forever. I'll like you for always. As long as I'm living, my baby, you'll be. Wow! <laughs> that was amazing. Thank you so much for that gift. I was not ready for this today. <laughs> Joey, you're in charge, okay? You make sure nobody leaves. Got it. <laughs> hey! Where do you think you're going? To the bathroom. All right, well, the rest of you get comfortable, okay? Because we are going to be here for the... Wait a minute, there's a window in there. Oh, no, he's not getting away that easy. What are you doing? Get the hell out of here! <laughs> well, that one did not have Emma's face on it. Mm, no, it did not. No. Well, we better get going. It's late. Jack's not allowed to drive at night anymore. He has trouble staying in his lane. The last winter, I went up on a church lawn and drove right through a manger scene. The papers thought it was a hate crime. <laughs> Lovely seeing you. Okay. Bye. Bye, dear. Nighty-night. Nighty-night. Bye-bye. Joey, how could you just let them leave? Hey, 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 I'm not gonna mess with Jack. He's a great man. He fought for our country. <laughs> no, he didn't. He pretended to be a Quaker to get out of Korea. <gasps> well, that's it. He's the last one to go. I'm locking you guys in. Yeah. You do know I can just turn them the other way around, right? <laughs> oh, forgot you used to live here. <laughs>